Hi, I'm Marna, and this is the Dolls Rescue Channel, and it's spring, and love is in the air. Um, I'm going to show you how this girl caught this guy's attention. She had me make her, let go of him, a gathered skirt with his favorite activities, uh, what, picture on it? Okay, I've cut my fabric 7 by 17. This fabric is a little offset. Sometimes when you have a print like this, it's real straight on the fabric and it's real easy to cut. This one is not. It's just a little offset. And I'm going by the, by the uh, what do you call it, nap of the fa uh, fabric. Um, but I cut it 7 by 17 for my one-third uh, scale doll. She's, uh, like I said, trying to impress her new boyfriend, and she wants hers in all black and white. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, I've shown you these um, gathered skirts before, but we have, I've not shown you how to get the lace and the ribbon on there, when to put that in. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine, and I'm gonna fold this over twice. And I'm gonna seam that all the way down. And I'll bet you're thinking that I'll use white thread, which would be appropriate, because that's your background color. I'm going to be adding ribbon and lace. And because it's black, uh, I will be using black thread today. Okay, my sewing machine and I are arguing a little bit, but I wanted to show you this. I just sewed this little bitty bow down, and what I'm gonna do is lift my foot, drag the thread a little further than it needs to be so that it's loose between the two bows. Then I'm gonna sew this one down with a lock that is go forward, go back, come forward, stitch, so it knots. And then when I clip my um, thread I will clip between the two bows okay so the trick is for a gathered skirt to have the lace and the ribbons on it is to put it on before you gather your skirt and I added a couple little bows it's killing me just to do this in black and white I am not uh, just a black and white person but that's what we want for Star Wars so what we're gonna do now is figure out how much elastic to put into the skirt. And because I can't mark this black um, elastic, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a smaller pin, a uh, safety pin, so that you can close it and not get snapped or stuck or scraped or bit by it. And then I'm gonna put this in this end I'm going to pull this through my um, channel that I made here, or my tube sewn over, finished edge, same as the bottom, but this is a little thicker so that the elastic fits. And I'm going to gather this all up, and I will know when I get here that that's all the elastic I have. I'll grab both ends, and then the first thing I do is sew this elastic down and put a seam up the back of the skirt. Okay, so here are my two safety pins. I've got that all pulled through the skirt. And what I'm gonna do is keeping that uh, elastic flat inside the skirt, I'm gonna start up top and with my back stitch, which is my knot. In other words, I'm gonna go forward with the sewing machine, back, and then back down. That will uh, hold the elastic tighter. And then, of course, I'll do the same thing at the bottom to knot it off. I made her this skirt because May 4th is coming. And we set out a challenge to all the other channels, any channel at all that would like to participate in our May the 4th Star Wars Challenge. If you'll put the hashtag Dolls Rescued Star Wars Challenge in your video that you're putting up on your channel, come back and put that in our comments so that all of our subscribers can see that you too have a Star Wars video and they can go watch it. 
Thank you for watching the Dolls Rescue channel. We hope you enjoyed our simple Star Wars gathered skirt for our one-third scale BJD doll. We really hope you'll participate in our challenge May 4th. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.